Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a collective message for Aquarius. Happy birthday Aquarius. Beautiful Aquariuses. We're in Aquarius season. Um, I'm getting like just extreme change for you guys. There's extreme changes coming in. We are, today is January 24th, 2022. Okay. Um, I do feel, I feel like there's a, about to be an extreme victory, like an extreme win for you guys. Now this feels like for, 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 for work, business. Okay. Um, finances, you know, things of that nature, but this feels like a big win in love. I know I keep messing with my hair, you guys, but I just cut it today. Um, I mean, it was short before, but I cut it even shorter. So I'm like really fidgety and I fidget when I channel anyways, but let's just get right into it. You guys for Aquarius, this one wants to pop out. What is this? Step into your power. First quarter moon in Aquarius. Look at her. She's off. You guys are feeling very in your power. You guys are in your feminine flow. You see that she's just receiving. It's like the, it's like she, she her, she's dancing and it's like she's pulling, magnetizing the, the planets to her, the moon, planets. This is Aries, this would be Mars. Some of you guys have Native American roots, do you, you know, or, or, or past lives. You guys were um, Native Americans. You guys resonate deeply with like the Native American culture. See the, the symbolisms back here. I'm just getting really strong Native American vibes. Okay. So you guys resonate with that. You guys might resonate with like, you know, great white Buffalo woman, things of that nature, but the whole like energy of that. You guys have stepped into your power, Aquarius. You guys have stepped into your power and you're stepping more and more into your power. And right now you're in this yin energy where you're in this flow of life, okay? This is about surrender, see that? Her stance is very surrendering. It's very open, very vulnerable. Her heart, you know, she's... You guys are stepping into your power, okay? So this is, uh, as far as like the, the changes and stuff, this is part of that. You guys have stepped into your power. You've been planting seeds. You've been attending to all the details within your life, okay? You've been seeing the bigger picture. This is all about big picture thinking, okay? And you've been finding balance. You've been, you've been, you've been restoring balance. But finding balance, what this is, is like you guys, you guys are like, you guys have got like everything else under control in your life. But what it feels like the one thing that is causing imbalance here is um, you're doing it all on your own, right? You're lacking a partner. You're lacking a companion, um, a love, right? But you've been doing it all on your own. Spirit wants you to know that you should absolutely be proud of yourself. But there is someone coming in for you. There is someone coming in for you. Okay, so let's see what this is that I'm feeling here for love, okay? So for Aquarius, please, for Aquarius, in love, please. Many of you Aquarius says, you know, you guys have been alone. You've been single. You guys have chosen celibacy. You guys have made the sacrifices, okay, in order to, in order to, to level up, you know, to heal, to, to fall into alignment with your, with your higher self, your destined path, you know, a lot of you guys before your awakening and just like all the rest of us, right, you were just, um, living your your faded life, you've had this awakening, all that, right? So many changes have happened, they've taken place. This is kind of like the, the cherry on top is what I'm gathering, Aquarius. The cherry on top is what you're missing here on your Sunday of life. And look what's coming in, I told you guys, I could feel it. It's a new beginning in love. 
a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I too, I felt it. A secret admirer. See, this is someone who hasn't even told you. They're watching you. They're, 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 they're observing you, learning you, studying you. It says someone has deeper feelings for you than what they're letting on. See. It's like a big reveal is what I'm gathering. See the dove? You know how people like at weddings and like things like that, at like a wedding, they will release the doves, right? And it's like a big reveal of the doves being released. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is such a magical moment. They're so magical. This is like, you know, symbolic of um of of, of divinity, of 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 the divine, right? divine love it's a divine union the heart the heart here this is um a heart heart chakra activation falling into alignment with the other chakras all right but the heart has has activated you activated something within this person's heart aquarius and i feel you guys hear this freight truck outside things are about to take off for you in love there's a new beginning, Aquarius. This is exactly what I was talking about before I started pulling cards. I could feel it for you guys. All right, so a new adventure awaits, a new beginning with a secret admirer, someone coming in. And it's like a not so secret. A secret admirer becomes not so secret. Six minutes, 46, okay. Spirit, just give me one more, please, for Aquarius at this time. Sorry, guys. One more for Aquarius, please. Oh, hello. That one flew way out. Sexual union and then wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. See, this is exactly what I was saying. This is confirming sexual union. See, Aquarius, you guys have decided. You guys have made the sacrifice and chosen yourself, self-love, ascension, all of that, right? Building your empire. You've waited. You have like, you're like, no, I'm not dealing with any fuckery. I'm not dealing with any bullshit BS from people, you know, from men, from women, people who want to waste my time, people who want to just, you know, have sex, people who want to just, you know, use and abuse, right? Like, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because I know my worth. And as you did that, you actually, your worth grew. It expanded. Remember her like all like. You know, you're now dancing through life. I posted in my story. You can follow me on Instagram at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I posted in my story was it yesterday or I, I don't know something, but it was like about and it was me. It was a boomerang of me. And I, but I talked about all about the divine feminine. OK, and how the divine feminine is rising up. Right. And I wrote this whole thing. And I said that at this time, it's as if we are dancing through life. I forget how I said it. It's as if we are dancing through life and it's as if our legs are made of feathers and wind. That's what this is, right? You have started dancing through your life like as if your legs are made of feathers and wind, right? And now you have waited because you have chosen yourself. And now there's a sacred sexual union coming in for you, okay? See this? The wait card. This is about two people who have had lifetimes together. They are heavily intertwined, deeply rooted. For many of you guys, this is your twin flame or it's just a past life soulmate that you've had past lives with, right? Either way, this is a deep, deep connection that you share with this person. It's as if you guys are one. So yeah, for many of you, it is a twin where it's like a twin soul, right? Even so with this deep soul bonds, you guys feel as if you're one, you're that connected. Your lovemaking with this individual Aquarius is going to be off the charts because this is your person. This is the one that you are meant to come into union with. This is the one who's worth the wait, you see. There's a sacred sexual union coming in. So you're going to have sexual union soon. That's why I was talking about celibacy and all that, right? And then we get the sexual union card. And it's showing you. Only time will tell. But... It's showing you that that's, that's what I said is true, that you're gonna be in sexual union soon after a long period of celibacy. 
and your loins. <laughs> you guys are ready. You guys are ready. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm a sister air sign. I'm a Libra. Okay. And collectively, there's a lot of, of that going on right now. But specifically, like for you guys, it's been extra. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's been extra hard, right? Okay. So let's do some tarot. I, I love this. I love this, you guys. I just got this deck. It is, um, it's Witch's Tarot. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, and then we have King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with King of Pentacles type energy. This is someone who is, um, you know, they make a lot of money. You know, they're, they're in a leadership role. They're a boss, or they're just that type of energy, but they're smart, you know? They don't invest in things unless they know that they're going to get like a good return on their investment. That's the only time that they come out and they give this pentacle away. He's still in deep thought about it though. Look at, and he's got all his, he's, he's sitting on a throne under grapevines. Okay. So this has been, um, for some of you guys, this has been, um, this has been grow like it's been it's been it's been it's been coming for a while okay it's been growing for a while but he's still he's in contemplation see he's staring at his pentacle okay and then we have the eight of cups here this is a feminine energy here aquarius eight of cups walking away walking away she's looking you know she's leaving this behind looking out to the ocean up at the moon and the stars aren't these cards gorgeous See, I see Knight of Pentacles. See, your person has been, um, they've been on their own journey, right? Of, um, of growth, going from the knight to a king. This is also slow, slow moving energy. Like, like this person, they've been, they've been taking a minute for this new beginning. They've been, wow. For some of you guys, you haven't even met this person. But for some of you guys, yeah, you have met this person and they're coming back in and it's been a minute that you've been dealing with them. Um, but I do feel for the majority of you guys watching this, Aquarius, that this is new. This is new. It's just, it's taken a long time to get here. It's taken, it feels like it's taken a long time, right? But we just have to remember that everything in this lifetime happens for us, not to us, right? It's just, it's taken a minute to get here, but your King of Pentacles arrives. There's this new beginning. That's your secret admirer. And he's like even... He's like even kind of scared, I think, about it. Like, he's like, I don't know, but you've made the King of Pentacles like, um, like intimidated. Eight of Cups, yeah. They regret walking away. Okay. Um, they had to, they had to, to, to heal, to, to learn some things. They definitely had to release things, you know, learn to let go of certain things, ways of thinking, people. Oh, look who it is. She fell out, you guys. It's the Queen of Pentacles. It's the counterpart. I know this isn't your guys' energy. It doesn't matter. This is what has kept you guys apart. See, your person. They turned their back on you, walked away from you. I had to be on a, on a journey of self-discovery. Now, both of you guys, you guys are counterparts. You guys mirror each other, right? You guys are, you guys go together. This is your equal, your person. Sorry guys, I know the gum is like that, but whatever. It helps me channel and um, stay focused and stuff, right? You guys both had to had to continue a journey, okay? You guys both, at like some point, yeah, like I feel like probably this person or you, you turned your back, I don't know, but this person like turned their back on you. Maybe you had to walk away because they turned their back on you. Whatever it was, it just, it was about the timing, right Aquarius? So the time was not right. This person um, was still, they still had all these cups back here, right? They had to walk away from, and you did too. There was still um, attachments and things that both of you guys had to work through in order for this um, union to come in, okay? And now we have the three of wands bottom of the deck. See, what you don't see coming a little PS. Three of wands, your ships are coming in. This is about, it's about to come in. It's about to hit land, see? And then we have, the, it says the wheel of the year. See, this is the wheel of fortune right here, the wheel of the year. This is what's coming in. All of your abundance is about to hit. It's like everything comes in at once. It's like the shift of your abundance and, and, and wishes coming true 
comes in and it like forgets the docks. It doesn't even dock. It just like crashes right into the land. The wheel of fortune. I mean, this is the wheel turning in your favor. Your ship's coming in. This is you. You see, you've been waiting. You've been waiting, Aquarius. But, but while you've been waiting, you've also been healing. See, when you were walking away from all these things, you were on this journey of self-discovery. You know, it was like you were literally being prepared for your divine union. You were being prepared for a new union. Okay. And now the time is here. Temperance. Okay. Someone wants to pour into you. I'm hearing this song by Tim McGraw, and uh, it's um, it's called Not a Moment Too Soon. This is old Tim McGraw, like old school Tim McGraw, original Tim McGraw. And he says, um, oh God, he says, I was standing at the end of my rainbow. See? He says, with no pot of gold and no, like, end in sight, right? And he, he says, he says, all my wishes were too, were too much for me to handle or whatever. Basically, oh, I just dropped my whole deck. Basically, he's talking about, the song is called Not a Moment Too Soon. And he's talking about how he had been through everything. He had, he felt like he had been through everything. He had seen everything. And he had, and he was just about to give up. Like he was just about to just give up and just be like, no, like there's no such thing as love. Everyone is shit. Like uh, you can't, you know, and that's what the, she came in not a moment too soon to his life. And that's what this is. Aquarius, if you, um, if this reading resonates with you, I would suggest going and listening to that song after this. It's called not a moment too soon by Tim McGraw. And not a moment too soon, not a minute to spare. You touched my heart when I didn't have a care. And he like, yeah, he talks all about that, you guys. She, uh, she saved him. She saved him. Woke him up. All right. Let's get some tea leaf oracle. All right. So let's clarify. Clarify this new beginning this new beginning and the uh, Wheel of Fortune, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius. A lot of earth energy here, you guys. I mean, with, with, with the King and Queen. Clouds, temporary problems. Yeah, this was all temporary. It was temporary problems, right? Felt like it was a lot longer, but you know, Spirit wants you to know your person has had their head in the clouds, right? Feels like you've had your head in the clouds a little bit too, but you know, if there's any kind of like little problems and things, happenstances, whatever happening, um, spirit wants you to know, Aquarius, that it's all temporary. The clouds are rolling away, but this person, your person, they've gotten their head out of the clouds. Okay. You got the crown here. You got the crown and literally you guys are being represented in this reading as you and your person as the king and queen of pentacles. Like you guys are two people who are hard workers, you're loyal, you're, you know, you're down to earth, you're dedicated, you're all these things, right? Crown. Your person looks at you like royalty. Honor and respect will come to you. See, your person looks at you like you're a queen or king, right? You are prestigious. You're, you know, you, you carry yourself very classy and well, and you're, um, you're just, you're like, you're like royalty to them. Crown. This is what's crowning your guys' uh, connection, your energy at this time, Aquarius. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and then you have the pail. Time to get out of a situation. Ooh. Look at that, see? Out of a situation. Your person feels like they want to get out of the situation of confusion or not having you or whatever it is, you guys. They want to get out of that kind of energy. Pin, 
new job or career. See, a lot of you guys, there's new opportunities, there's change, there's newness, there's abundance coming. I'm telling you, Aquarius, I could feel it. A lot of you guys are about to hit big, right? A new job or career. There's doors opening. And the harp. Oh, great happiness. See, I told you there's doors opening, Aquarius. Great happiness. And then you have on the bottom of the deck here, the feather. Someone you know is undependable and insecure. Ooh, okay. So someone in your, in your energy. Okay. But what I feel this is, you guys, is I feel this is past energy. I feel that this is part of what your person or this person or whatever, that's part of what they had to walk away from. And I feel that's part of what you are on your journey too, like for some of you guys, right? You guys had to discover your happiness, self-love, oneness, um, and you had to learn about, you know, some insecurities and things of that nature and face them. Okay. And you did, because right after that is the sun, happiness and well-being. So this confirms that, you know, the sun shines away all darkness, right? It takes away all darkness. So the sun and your angels and guides, okay, are, are letting you know this, right? Happiness and well-being is on the way. The sun, you've overcome everything. Now you're standing in your happiness and happiness is coming in. Things are starting to be more clear in your life and you will receive clarity, right? We have the sun and then we have clouds. This is confusion. This is clarity, right? Okay. The angels, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Yeah, you guys are very protected. Um, you're being spiritually guided. Your person is being spiritually guided. This is being spiritually guided. Like it's like all that, right? Let's just get some of my messages for Aquarius, please. What does their person want them to know? What do they wish to say? This connection is divine and the divine protects it. See, I literally just said that with the angel card here. I replay our time together over and over in my mind. Yeah. Spirit babies are guiding you two together. Your spirit babies want you guys together, you guys. They are ready to be born. They're guiding you guys together. They're like, get your shit together. You know, they're saying that to their, to their masculine, you know, daddy or mommy. Communication breakdown. See, the clouds, confusion. They want to they wanna clear away all the confusion. They feel like, you know, um... Maybe for some of you guys, part of the reason why you guys were in separation or whatever's happened, happened or whatever's going on, right, is because of it's the lack of communication. Um, letting go. Your person is letting go of everything and that is not in alignment with where they want to go, which is towards you. This connection will have union. See? And then you have the fool, the leap of faith. It says, a leap of faith, clean slate, la-di-da, la-di-da. It's very like, like la-di-da. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm ready, you know? Um, intuition. They're listening to their intuition. Let's get one more, please. One more, please, for Aquarius. Thank you. Soulmates, past lives, friendships, nostalgia, memories. You're my guru. This person has learned a lot from you, Aquarius. You're like a guru to this person and they, or, or they do learn a lot from you or they will. Right. Um, but I feel like they have learned a lot from you and yes, this is your soulmate. And again, I feel this is twin flame energy for some of you guys watching this, right? This is them in their memory and feeling nostalgic and looking back, but this is also about you guys having past lives, sharing past lives. Okay. And, um, spirit, let me just get one please for Aquarius. Tell me about, or just tell me what Aquarius needs to know in regards to this connection. Recognition. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. <laughs> love. This is love. Oh my God. I, you can't make it up. Look at, I was about to start shuffling and I said, and I said, love. And then right as I was saying that, it flipped over true love. This is true love. True love comes when you least expect it, Aquarius. Okay? 
This is true love. It comes out of nowhere. This person comes back out of nowhere. Or it comes in out of nowhere. Enlightenment. They've gone through enlightenment. They admire you. They admire you. And um, they want to, to tell you, you know, about all the ways that they admire you. This is a true, true um, deep spiritual connection you share with this person. And yeah, this is the person you marry for many of you guys. For some of you guys, they had to release an ex. And for some of you guys, you had to release an ex. You had to release and purge out more stuff. It's that eight of cups before you could have union with the one. See Aquarius? This is what comes in because you deserve love. You have finally come to a place where you value and you know your worth. And you're like, I deserve this and I deserve love. I'm lovable. And when you surrender to this and you realize this and you actually embody it and live by it, it comes in. Wedding. This is the person you marry. The situation involves marriage. I could feel it. So this is what I have for you, my loves. If this was your message, Aquarius, be sure to claim it by liking and subscribing. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am still doing personals. You can find the info below in the description box. Send me an email. I can do a live reading with you like this, or I can send you a recorded reading to keep. Um, tarot lessons. I'm offering tarot lessons. If it's something that you feel intuitively called to learn more about or to do, okay, um, it's $65 a lesson. It's up to you, you know, how many lessons you want to take. But I teach you to read intuitively, to tap into your own spiritual gifts and to just learn the cards and establish a relationship with the cards and the tarot um, from a completely different standpoint of, 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 of what you would typically do, right? Um, and what else, what else, what else? Thank you for the donations to the channel, you guys. It means the world to me. If you feel guided, please go follow me at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot on Instagram, okay? Um, and I just send you guys love and light. And if you feel guided too, there is another reader who is newer here on YouTube who is... Um, she reads from her heart and her soul and um we're kind of collaborating and kind of like promoting each other's channels because we both you know when i approached her I, I was just like i really am particular about readers i don't care how many subscribers they have they could have a hundred thousand two hundred thousand energy is energy and, and i can feel it and i'm like mm -mm, no she's phenomenal mirror souls eight eight if you feel guided go check her out okay she does the collective readings like i do and she's just a really beautiful person so i send you guys love happy birthday aquariuses and i'll see you soon